Yeah, we are excited as well. Sip and Chew with Mike and Stu. Welcome back to Studio 10. Hey, thanks for having us on. Yes, thank you. I heard you guys had a conversation with uh, Chelsea earlier on your show. Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, a lot well, of you fun. You were out of town, but I, yeah, I, I handled it. I, I, was, uh, <laughs> I was up at Lookout Mountain. Uh, for my girlfriend's birthday, we uh, that's a valid there. excuse. We were hiking. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll let you take that. Hey, beautiful scenery out there. As well. Absolutely, it was. This was her first time to see Little River Canyon, to see DeSoto Falls, to see the mountain itself. Yeah. And then people, you don't think about it. We live down here with this beautiful beaches, but right. we also have one of the most beautiful Appalachian settings in the northern part of the state, five or six hours away. This state has everything. This segment brought to you by Explore Alabama. <laughs> uh, sip and Chew with Mike and Stu. So tell us about your radio show, and one of the exciting things we wanted to bring you on to talk about is you're up for some awards. Talk to us about that. Well, we, we're almost been on the air six years now, and uh, mm -hmm. we talk, we're, we're, we're probably the ambassadors about talking about local, you know, <laughs> support local, be That's local, great. buy local. And somebody out there noticed us, and we we're nominated for a Taste Award out in California. We fly out Sunday morning. And uh, it's for the best radio, food, and food and wine broadcasts in the nation. It's How a, great is that? Yeah, it's a long title, but uh, it's a long title. Uh, the, t the Taste Awards are kind of very similar to the way the Emmys and the Academy Awards work, sure. but it's focused on food, fashion, lifestyle, travel programming, and not just television. It's all platforms. Podcasting, media. radio. Man, that is so great. So if folks have not had a chance to listen to Sip and Chew with Mike and Stu before, uh, they're definitely going to want to listen now after hearing that. How can they <laughs> listen to you guys? Every Sunday morning on, on uh, uh, FM Talk 106.5. Mm -hmm. Sunday morning, 8 o'clock. I know it's early. Sunday morning. <laughs> we do a Facebook Live of the show while we're broadcasting yeah, it, cool. so you can go on our Facebook page, which is just Sip and Chew, and catch that. We put the audio broad podcast on there as well mm -hmm. so that you can get all of that. And what we like to do mainly on the show is celebrate all of our local ingredients, artisans, restaurants, and we've got some of these things with us. Mm -hmm. Now, Chelsea is chomping at the bits for this pizza, but I know you're going to fight her for oh, it. Oh, yeah. We're, like, uh, the arm wrestle competition yeah. is coming. You get, you get a, a slice of pizza from one of the national chains, you're going to get an okay slice of pizza. Uh -huh. But you go to one of our local places, this is from Sam's House of Pizza. Our food renaissance is no longer isolated to downtown Mobile. Right. Further west, Brickett's probably one of the best steakhouse. Oh, the so good. And then Sam's House of Pizza, I mean, this is the real deal New York style. And, you know, you see this little slice here. That's bigger than most places, mediums. I've got some uh, desserts here from Coletta Baked Goods and Italian Cuisine. Ooh. This is a, just a chocolate cake. This is a matcha, which is a powdered green tea cheesecake. Wow. And of course you've had the guys from Keys on. Yeah, here. they've been on the show yeah. before. Great Southern Spice. A little like hint of cinnamon or something in it that makes it feel a yeah, little bit yeah. different but it's a it's a great spice to pour on a lot of your different foods that you have out there. Now coming up in the next segment you're going to do some cooking here as well. Right, right. I'm going to do an ALT with a no, another local ingredient, Hall's Andouille Sausage. All right. And the A is Andouille Lettuce and Tomato. Alright, sounds good. Looking forward to that. Talking to you guys some more about all this kind of stuff. I'm going to leave even for now, the battle has not taken place. The battle for the <laughs> pizza, Chelsea. We are back in the kitchen with my new friends, Mike and Stu, making some hole mole slaw. Yeah. Just going to do a quick little twist on the slaw here. Uh-huh. And This throws much. me off. Yeah, okay. I'm really excited to okay. try we it. Okay, we know this part of the dressing, right? Right, mayonnaise, mayonnaise yeah. of course. And I'll be honest with you, I don't like most mayonnaise-based slaws. No I like way. the vinegar-based slaws, really? like Cretito from Mexico, uh, the Jewish slaw is done in vinegar. I respect it. As well. Yeah. But this one got a little different thing. I'm going to add mole, and you know, we were talking during the break. Yes. If you don't know what mole is, it is a sauce from Oaxaca, Mexico. And one of the primary flavor ingredients is dark chocolate. Chocolate. I did not know this. So is it in guacamole too? No, 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 no. Uh, there, is that a different yeah. mole? That's a different mole. That's with avocado is what oh. the main thing. I'd, uh, but, I mean, I'm just going to mix the, the mole into the mayonnaise, and then I'm going to mix the so coleslaw into my dressing, and we're ready to go. Dark chocolate coleslaw. Dark chocolate coleslaw. I'm so excited. This is going to be really good. I like mixing <laughs> different flavors together and trying it out, because usually the most odd flavors combined sometimes make the greatest taste and the greatest uh, recipe. This man makes a root beer barbecue sauce. That no way. Mm -hmm. I feel I'll, award okay. winning too. I'll have yeah. to try that. But you guys have some fundraisers coming up to help you guys get to California. Well, you know, uh, uh, when we were notified that we were finalists and, and for the Taste Awards, we had very small window to, right. to get there. And, you know, when you're a chef and you sell wine here, you don't make a whole lot of money. So <laughs> we don't, we don't. So we had to depend on our friends and yeah. our customers and that. And they all came together and they stepped up. Uh, 
uh, Tony More Sawyer at Bob's Diner mm -hmm. uh, downtown. He stepped up and said, I challenge everybody else in Mobile to put up $100. And they just started coming in. That's awesome. We're still a little short. Right. Uh, we're going to do, we're going to be quasi servers tonight okay. at. Uh, quasi celebrities. Celebrity servers. We're I'm not sorry. even quasi yeah. servers. Y'all are, are definitely uh, Tonight at uh, Le Bichon Wine Bar in yes. Daphne. Here's the address and all that right here. Uh, beautiful wine bar and uh, friends of mine on it. And they said, hey, won't you come be quasi celebrity servers yeah. tonight? Yeah. So we're going in making tips to, so we can help pay for our trip. Well, that's going to be we're, awesome. We're begging for money. Well, you've got to get there somehow. And funding, I mean, you guys, were, the community is so proud of you guys for this incredible nomination. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, we've got to get you there and hopefully bring we're it back. <laughs> well, that too. Right. <laughs> yeah. That too. But, yeah, we're uh, we're so excited about it. And and uh, it's not very many people from this area have been nominated for this. Right. Uh, I think Pete Bloom uh, from Panini. Pete's, he's mm -hmm. been nominated before. Yeah, for a video series. He yeah, did. for a video. And it was yeah. a great video series. So uh, we're, we're, uh, we're honored, you know, even if we don't win, yep. uh, if the, the experience the is going to be, yeah, well, there's going to be a lot of, uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, producers and stuff out there. And right. I'm going to geek out on the chef. You know that. Hey, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's last okay. time I met Nathan Lyon, who was the guy Guy Fieri beat out on Food Network oh. Star, and he's since gone on to have three Emmy nominated shows. Wow. Uh, Bobby Bogner, who hosted uh, Food Tech on History Channel. Yeah. Mindy Kaling from the office was yes. there. And at least Love one that. model that I talked to the entire time like this. So, how's it like being a model? I guarantee you, without heels, she was 6'4". Hey, well, they're tall. It's and part of the job description. And had a degree in uh, biomicrobiology, some kind of thing. She was brilliant. Smart and beautiful. Right. You can't, and you, super, super tall. That, right? oh, it's super tall. <laughs> the three best uh, combinations to put together. So, if somebody wants to help you out, if they can't go tonight um, to the wine bar, how can they do so? Just go to our Facebook page and, and send us a message on Messenger. Yeah. And, and uh, we, we've been real fortunate and and, and blessed, real blessed uh, yeah. that people really stepped up in, in a lot of different ways. And right. mm -hmm. people have donated airline miles and all That's that awesome. stuff. See, yeah. the James Beard Award, they've got three months to prepare for it. Right. Yeah, right. And we didn't. We had like a month or less. Yeah, I think the Taste Award, and this is their 10th year, uh, uh, the it keeps having to change because they have such a broad right. media palette that you know it, it constantly changes. I was out there in 2011, right mm -hmm. after Cam Newton uh, had that cam back, and uh, <laughs> and it was in the Egyptian Theater, mm -hmm. which is just as beautiful as Grandma's Chinese P Theater, and just so many people there of of all walks of life, and it's really interesting. And you know, I went out there as a rube from Alabama, mm -hmm. thinking, oh, I, LA is going to be scary. I had the time of my life in Hollywood. I would love to go. Yeah, and I see why, you know, mm -hmm. what, 17 million people live in that area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's you know, it's, it's fun. pretty exciting. So I'm getting ready yeah. to show my girlfriend. She's not been out there yet. I don't know if, if Lou has been. But, mm -mm. But, uh, going out for, west. Going out west. That's going to be the fun. With the Beverly Mobilies. That is going to be fun. <laughs> so with Joe coming up next, what are you guys doing real fast? I'm going to do that ALT sound. Oh, I know. We're excited. All right, let's check out our weather with Joe and Michael. Back in the kitchen. Holy mole. Holy mole. <laughs> holy mole. Got to work on it. So that, that was the slaw that we made. Right, we call right. it holy mole slaw. All right. And uh, now I'm working on the ALT. And what I've done is I took this Koneka sausage, or Koneka, listen to me. This is better. That would be a CLT. Oh, we just lost Pause. sponsor. Yep. Oh, yep. Uh, <laughs> forgive me, Dave. Actually, there's, it, sometime we need to talk about it. There's a very interesting link between Halls and Koneka. And if it wasn't for Halls Sausage, we wouldn't have Koneka in Mobile County. Ah, It's a okay. good old story. If you ever get Deborah on, ask her about it. So I'm taking, this is the andouille that Halls makes. Okay. And Chickasaw. And I'm turning it and slicing it so that it looks like a slice of bacon. Yeah. Okay. Well, I did that. By the way, if you're just joining us, sip and chew with Mike and Stu in the kitchen this morning. Happy to have you guys here as always. All right, Glad tell me about here. this. All right, so I used another pan. This is my Gotham steel pan. That keeps it from curling up. Mm. And, you know, now I'm just going to make a sandwich. Now, I've got a little remoulade here. Use your favorite recipe if you like pesto mayo, anything like that you want to use. This, uh, y'all have got this on your website. Yeah. Tell yeah. me again, just for the folks who want to know, just briefly, what's what's in there a little bit? Mayonnaise, blackening seasoning, crushed mm -hmm. garlic, and a little bit of Creole mustard. Oh, all the good just stuff. Just a very simple thing, and I'm just going to add my lettuce on here. Everybody knows how to make a BLT. Sure, so I'll let you build that. Let's talk a little bit over there to uh, Mike. So tell me about that sign up there, this wine and tapas. Uh, we're doing we tonight, there. we're doing a fundraiser at uh, uh, Le Bichon. Uh, okay. Tapas and, and wine bar uh, in Daphne. Uh, all the 
all the tips we get to keep all the tips nice that's ours <laughs> that's ours and uh that we that we're going to use to help pay for our trip all right and your and trip of course for, again for the folks who haven't seen the previous segments heading to california had to go to california going to beverly hills where the show is and uh we're excited we i, I couldn't even hardly sleep last night and uh, try and get us an award try to get an award and and uh it's it's a great it's a great honor to go i mean people could say well oh, you've okay. already You've already won just oh, did, by going. Did, did and I yes, mess we up have. the presentation? You're putting it all together. I'll let you do that. <laughs> Guys, we're going to let you uh, plate that up. When we come back, we'll show the finished product. Congrats on your award and your upcoming you. trip. You can see them tonight at the Tapas Bar. We'll be right back with more Studio 10 after this. Don't you take a bite out of the bottom. Oh, yeah. We'll see you guys oh, tomorrow in Studio 10. I'm about to, I'm about to beat all these guys in an arm wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> take the beat.